Legend Onslaught can be quite of a challenge. So how about we remove that challenge with some kind of silly cheese methods, such as the following. Starting with these batteries. Did you know they can be duped by activating a class ability at the same time as throwing them? This works for dodgers, rifts and titan barricades. You could even use something such as the Radiant Dance Machines to dupe the same battery multiple times. Better yet though, you could also dupe these batteries if you have two of them close together. The same strategy as before, but as soon as you throw the battery, start picking up the second one, and this will respawn the first. You can then just repeat this until the timer expires. Weapon swapping as you are throwing the battery can also work, but the timing is much more precise. The boss room has quite a nice cheese spot, which can be extremely helpful in higher waves. There's one what's more likely unintentional, and a little bit harder to access, but shown here. You will have line of sight on the boss from up here too. There's plenty of room to hide and just take shots at the boss from safety. But in a pinch, you could also just go straight to the back of the room and hide behind these pillars. As long as you are here, no enemies will push you and you could just wait out revives or even pull out a Polaris Lance and give the bosses the Grandmaster Nightfall treatment. Oh, actually those um, batteries again. They have another kind of weird use. You can throw them at turrets and decoys to repair them. There isn't much indicator for this except the low health flashing being removed. You can even throw them at enemy boss targets or champions to heal them. I don't know why you would actually want to do this, but you can. And lastly, this one isn't a cheese as such, but it's just something people need to know. Tormentor waves. Do not panic or even shoot at the Tormentor. Just do the following. If it's near a decoy, leave it. If not, grab its attention before you break its shoulders while teammates clear the wave. Only engage a Tormentor after the wave or if you are unlucky enough to have it spawn on top of the IDU. They're really not actually that aggressive until their initial shoulder crit spots have been broken. So use this time wisely to deal with anything else. And so these are the best cheeses I've found so far for Legend Onslaught. Hopefully something in here will help you get that elusive wave 50 completion. Thank you for watching.